KSI was a guest on the Checkup podcast with Dr. Mike, and he talked about living with a feeling of emptiness. KSI talked about his purpose of life and his craving for mainstream success. Let's watch this clip and come back. A guy called Joey who uh, definitely was up my ass and made me think I was... Th to be honest, he's one of the reasons why I bought a Lamborghini. So I would always wear designer like clothes. I'd always, you know, look to buy the most expensive things that front and center. Mm -hmm. And I was just trying to spend more than I was earning. Or even sure. clubbing, I would spend 20K uh, on a table, just, just like that, like it was nothing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, I'm the big baller. And I tried to get all the girls and all, this and all of that, so. We all agree that being a miser is a bad trait to have. We shouldn't be attached to money too much. Spending money on your family and your loved ones is something important and should be done. Especially if it will enhance the upholding of kinship ties. Some misguided people, especially in the manosphere, believe that spending money on your wife to make her happy makes you a simp. And they try to shame men who take care of their families and prioritize the happiness of their wives and children. But spending money to show off and commit immoralities is empty and doesn't make any sense you're working so hard to just throw your money in the club and drink alcohol to damage your health and spend it on random women who don't care about you what life is this your mother deserves to be taken care of more than any woman you find in a club and more importantly you should ask yourself how can i please the creator of the heavens and the earth giving charity is not just to feel good in the moment you should have the intention to give charity for the sake of allah because that money is not yours and poor people have a right over you and it's their money. So next time you see a woman begging on the street asking for money, know that she's asking for her money and we should give it back. We think we are doing them a favor when in fact they are the ones doing us a favor and helping us build our palace in Jannah. Yeah, it was just a lot of noise. And, uh, you know, nowadays I'm just so like chill. I, I, I feel like... We can say as much as we want, but people are going to just believe what they want to believe mm. and they're going to have to experience it themselves. So once they realize, oh, I've got all the nice watch and the, the all the girls and the expensive this, expensive that, and then they realize, oh, but... You know, I still feel empty in life. This comes down to knowing the purpose of life. Everything in the world has a purpose. And we also should have a purpose. Our hearts help deliver blood to the body. Kidneys help filter blood and remove waste from the body. Our bodies have a muscular system, an endocrine system, an immune system, a digestive system, a circulatory system, and so on. And you know more about elbows more than anybody else. So everything in our bodies have a purpose. So what about the collective? Allah said in the Quran, and I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me. The purpose of life is to worship Allah. And humans are programmed to always worship something. Be it money, women, celebrities, or even oneself. When you live your life according to your desires, you're in fact worshiping your desires and being arrogant to submit yourself to the one who created you. And follow Following your desires will 100% lead to emptiness and a depressed life. Those who have believed and whose hearts are assured by the remembrance of Allah and questionably by the remembrance of Allah, hearts are assured. The only way to find peace in this life is by remembering and worshipping the Creator and doing what pleases Him and staying away from what angers Him. That's why I invite you KSI to follow the truth. I invite you to follow the way of all the prophets of God, the way of Abraham, Moses and Jesus peace be upon them all. And lastly, the way of Muhammad, peace be upon him, the last and final messenger. I just want to make a difference and also just see how far I can go. I think, you know, I've always had people tell me I'll never be able to reach a certain point in my life or I'll never be able to do the things that I think I would be able to do. So I love proving people wrong. And uh, with that, I'm able to just define what makes me me and then just keep going and keep going and just see where it takes me so you know i felt like there was a ceiling with youtube at the time when i'd reach you know 10 plus million subscribers so i ventured really into the music i ventured really into the boxing and all these things to try and you know get that mainstream like level of success and then i think for me it's just always just being able to just see yeah just see how huge i can be 
as a person that started from nothing. I know how far you can go. Are you ready? The grave. That is the only guaranteed reality for all of us. Success and money will not be with you in the grave. You will be alone. And you will have to answer for everything you did in this life. And imagine being asked by Allah, why didn't you submit and accept Islam? What excuse do you think is sufficient for you to be excused? There is nothing stopping you from accepting the truth. I invite anybody who is contemplating Islam and questioning yourself, am I ready or am I good enough? All these questions are from Satan. May Allah's curse be upon him. He's trying to delay your shahada and stop you from directing your worship to the one true creator instead of the unworthy creation. If you want to learn more about Islam, you can click the link in the description and claim your free copy of the Quran. You can watch this video about Robert Spencer lying about Islam and the Quran. Don't forget to subscribe for daily uploads. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.